Residents of the shelter near Judiciary Square finally called EMS when they realized that Renee Page had been unresponsive for too long. Senior managers at the shelter called the Community for Creative Nonviolence say Page was a resident until a month ago and was dismissed for not obeying house rules. But fellow residents are angry that the shelter didn't do more for Page. They say she told everyone, including staff, that she had AIDS, she was incontinent, and friends of the shelter watched her condition weaken in recent weeks. They gathered at the bench for a small vigil Monday evening. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Marianne Luby of the Washington Legal Clinic for the Homeless was also there. I think when you make a decision to put somebody out, you have to look at their level of vulnerability. I don't want anyone sitting outside on that bench. But someone who wasn't sick could have endured that, probably. Obviously, Ms. Page couldn't. Renee Page was said to be in her 40s and was thought to have three children. Mona Rabbi, WAMU 88.5 News.